A scarf is an accessory that adds that finishing touch, that flourish, that flair to a look. Whether it be big, medium, or small size, it's the accent that we're all looking for. But the question that we most get asked about scarves, how do I tie it? On this Ask Elaine, we've compiled some of our favorite videos and most watch segments all about scarf tying from our TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook channels, all together as a reference tool for you. So today, mm -hmm, we're gonna show you some tricks. Our first ties are created with oblong scarves. We like the polyester ones that are doubled up because they have a lot of body to work with. This first tie, run the scarf under the center of your bra and then run it under a sleeveless dress like this and just create a bow at the center. It adds a little something. Number two, run it under your strap, the bra strap and the dress. Take um, an edge at the back and at the front tie them together at the side and under your bra strap again and it gives the effect of a collar necklace and then thirdly just run it under your strap once and create a side bow lovely with any kind of sleeveless dress or tank now you're going to use the oblong scarf and a pearl bracelet a stretch bracelet is good here so run the scarf um, under with the the pearl double it up like that place it around your neck take one edge of the scarves insert it into the pearl bracelet and then just tie it up a few times I like a side tie like this so you see the beauty the knacker of the pearl bracelet and the scarf then of course you can use any kind of scarf um, as long as it's long enough as a belt so take one edge and tie it under and then tie it again over to secure it as your belt and there you go and number four with the oblong so tie it but keep one tie really really short double it up take the longer type drape it at the back of the neck and back again and it gives you nice little shirt tails Next, we're tying up silk square scarves, very French. Now, here's a great way to do it. You start by creating a triangle shape. So here's Petite Queen stands at four foot 11, and you'll see how it creates a lovely accent at the shoulder line. So she's draped it at the back, and now you're going to want to give it a double tie, a soft knot to ensure that it does last all day, right? She's wearing it here with her Trudy dress, and this is a double knit ponte, so the silk will adhere to this. It won't slip and slide too, too much. It's nice to work with the colors, of course, of what you're wearing, and keep the scarf away from the neckline to elongate the neck. Sandra's taking the same basic triangle formation, and she's creating a cylinder here by folding it upon itself a few times. She's going to create a necktie, so she gives the one side a soft knot like that a sliding knot and just pulls through the other side and there you are you can wear this in summer fall winter it just adds a lot of color now i'm doing um i'm using my bra strap again so i'm using this silk square as a cylinder uh, run it through my bra strap just with a um, scuba t-shirt here and i'm creating a bow this particular scarf is more of a twill texture, so it has a stiffness to it that allows it to stay almost like a big pin. Now you can also uh, create a flower with this. So twist, twist, twist the two edges to the end, and then it recoils up. You shape it into a twisted donut, if, if you will, and you take the edges and pop them through like that. And voila, you have your flower. I love this tie from Sandra. So again, triangle formation, create a cylinder, give it a soft knot at the center. And that's going to go at the front of the neck, take the two edges and run them through that. It creates a necklace. It's similar to what you saw with the oblong scarf and it will last all day. And then Lastly, we wanted to show here with a cowl neck. This is a detachable cowl neck knitwear. So fall, winter here. Here we're using one of our smaller silk square scarves. However, you could use a bigger one with a similar effect. So it's that same formation, the triangle, 
and then onto the cylinder and you're going to tie it under the detachable cowl neck. And it just adds something a little unexpected. It adds to the richness of the texture of the knit sweater. Now, what if you do a, a jabot, but you're afraid that it's going to just pop out of your shirt collar? Well, here's a great way to do it. So do one short tie and tie the longer tie over. That's the jabot, right? Then you would take the jabot tail and place it under the center of your bra. And then you just kind of fix it, add a little more shape to your jabot, a little more richness and fabric there, and you're done. This tie has the effect of a beautiful floral spray on a little black dress. So we're taking the Ziska magnetic necklace here, but any kind of a short necklace would do. You're going to tie the uh, scarf at the center. And the idea now is to hide the necklace in the soft cowl. This is a Simply Dress, new from our fall season. And just a luxe punch of botanicals in this instance with the scarf over the jersey LBD. Sandra's uh, trick here is a classic. So again, the silk square, triangle once more, and you're going to minimize it. And you still get a lot of color and effect here. So she doubles it up and she's going to place only one edge through the cylinder. And then she gives it a soft double tie right at the neckline, quite beautiful. Onto our mid-size scarf and Sandra again works for magic. So this is a cashmere blend and you're going to drape it at the back like that. And from here, you're going to shorten one edge, place the edge under your, uh, your top, and then take the other edge, the long one, place it back and bring it back over. And because there's a wealth of fabric here, you're going to want to play with it. Um, ensure that you like the look of the drape. And from here, all you want to do, you see how she just took the other edge and just placed it under. And it's interesting how you've got an asymmetrical tie, lovely at the back and just lovely little petals shaped at the front here. Now, this is a, a silk scarf. So it's a long oblong here, but this one is light as air. So the more you fold it, the more body you get. And she's just creating like a pretzel here. So she runs the two edges under her main tie, and then she runs each edge through, and you end up with this gorgeous formation. It's nice that you can put it on the side like this. And this is another twist kind of uh, pretzel kind of look. And we, it's nice to refresh these because this one looks just so crisp and pretty. The large scars we're going to show you are from our Love's Pure Light collection. And so these are silk models. So they're really, really light again, but because they're so big, sometimes they can be a little intimidating. So we'll show you a few things to do with them. First, you can create kind of a, a capelet with them. So you're going to take the full size, you're going to fold it into, it's still very long. So we're going to fold it again. Now we're going to create some sleeves here with it. So it's good to use a table, take two of the edges and you're going to tie them together like that. And I like to double knot them. So again, it stays put and that's one sleeve done and do the same with the other two edges like that. Fold them up and then you're going to take it lengthwise and you're gently, delicately going to open it up, slip on both sleeves and then you're going to work with the inside of the back. So you're going to lift it up a lot and underfold the top of the scarf at your shoulder line. So you double it up over the shoulders, again, to help ensure that it stays nicely over the shoulder. Sandra is going to show you a similar tie that she did with her silk square. So when you're working with the silk modal here, you really want to take your time and whatever fold you do, you want it to be exact. And that will, again, make for a neat scarf tie. So take your time with these, okay? So she's creating a long tube and she's going to create that soft slip knot at the front. And that will serve uh, to place right at the center of the neckline. This creates a necklace 
kind of tie. She's opening up the tie and that's where she's taking her time again to place all that wealth of fabric. There's a lot of layers there. So take your time. You want it to look good. And it really makes, um, it accents the fringe on the scarf so beautifully. And you can place it off to the center, off center, if you want to wear it like that. Really beautiful with all the reds. And the last tie with the Love's Pure Light is a shoulder accent. So I'm taking the scarf. I folded it in two. And then I... Um, half drape the scarf so I end up with two edges I place it over the shoulder you want to end up with two long ties so you're going to take one tie you drape it over and under at the shoulder okay then work with your shoulder a little bit zhuzh up the shoulder and then same thing with the other tie bring it over and under the shoulder you're not seeing here that I'm tying both edges just ever so gently, and that will make it stay. So it's perfect for a cocktail or uh, an evening look with your scarf. So we hope that you learned a thing or two about scarf tying. If there's a video with scarf tying in particular that you'd like us to show you in more slow motion, we'll be happy to do that. So just comment below and we'll look after that for you.